Ever heard about a smartphone with built-in wireless earbuds? Me neither. But the Nokia 7510 Express Audio has exactly such a feature. And this phone brings me back 20 years with no smartphones, no touch display, snake and the infamous internet button. Now some of you might not know what I'm talking about, but this button was like forbidden since internet wasn't for free. Alright, so let's start with the setup. So this phone comes in different parts. So you have your phone, you have your battery that is actually removable, you have your SIM card and of course you need a little bit of destructive power to open up the back case. So you have to open up this first in order to put in your SIM card. Pull back the SIM card holder just a tiny snitch and insert your card. Then put the battery on top and for less click the backside on the phone back on it and that's basically all you gotta do. So the main feature of this smartphone are of course the built-in wireless earbuds. Now all you need to do in order to find them is to pull back this thing right here and you can take them out anytime you want to or you can put them back in. Now they of course stay in there since they are magnetically attached to your phone so they won't fall out and you can yeah see now in all honesty these wireless earbuds aren't the best now you definitely cannot compare them to other ANC wireless earbuds like the Galaxy Buds 2 but these ones are always by your side since you have them in your smartphone now there's now two downsides to this thing now you have no ANC and you have like literally no base. All right, as you can see, we get a lot of buttons all around this phone. With these, you can skip to the next song, play and pause the track, or you can adjust the volume. Or in my case, you can skip to the next music channel since you need to have an extra music file on this phone since you cannot download music from a store. So you first have to have music files on your computer and then you have to transfer them to your cell phone. And I don't like that since I don't have any music files I haven't had any in like the last 15 years, but that's how it works. Next up we have some games and all of you probably know Tetris. It's the same game just with a different sound. So block after block after block until you lose since I suck at this game. But at least we have some more games like a car racing game, which is very me friendly since you only have to go left, right, left, right and dodge the cars. And of course you have the most classic cell phone game ever and that is Snake. I don't used to play this game a lot on my old Nokia 3310 and it is still fun playing it. Next up we have the camera and you definitely cannot compare this one to other smartphones these days since this one only has a 0.3 megapixel camera. Now this one takes pictures, you can set a timer and you can take videos. As you may see the quality of the pictures and videos they are not really existing. Pictures are blurry and videos not sharp at all. But you know what? At least we got a camera. Okay, up to design and some specs. Now the Nokia 5710 Express Audio only weighs in at 130 grams since most of this thing is plastic. Okay, you also have a 2.4 inch TFT LCD color, not a touch display, but it has a resolution of 240 by 260 pixel. You also have storage for music files and pictures, but you only have 128 of them and 48 megabytes of RAM. You also have a dual SIM card and micro SD slot. And unfortunately we get an old micro USB connection. As for the battery life, this phone has a 1450 mAh battery, which lasts for about 20 days on normal usage. Plus this phone only costs you 90 euros. All right, there are also some more features on this phone. So in addition to games we already have, we get even a few more like Arrow Master, Doodle Jump or Crossy Roads. We have a simple voice recorder with, I would say, a decent quality. And of course, we have all the other stuff like a timer, stopwatch, a camera light and a calendar, which I wouldn't recommend since it takes ages to type. Pressing four times on a button to write a single letter is not going to cut it. I don't have that much patience. And as for last, you have two more important buttons. Now the hashtag button on this phone, if you long press this one, you will mute your phone and you have another button, the zero. And if you long press that one, you will get to the internet. So don't press that one. And guys, that's already all there is about this phone. If you like this review, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.